A huge cache of magma hidden beneath California supervolcano, the Long Valley Caldera. This is a new research finding. Gina Brunner, Life Science Manager. Some 760,000 years ago, before our species took its first steps on Earth, an enormous eruption in what is now Eastern California sent high-speed rivers of ash and lava across uh, the areas tens of miles across. In the event ejected ash as far east as present-day Nebraska. Now, as we see from the map, Long Valley Caldera is very close to Yellowstone. And that erupted, that last major eruption they estimate was 640,000 years ago. So this Long Valley was about 100,000 years before that. Of course, Yellowstone has seen minor eruptions 70,000 years ago. It's not just these major eruptions, but they also had smaller eruptions. Now, the Long Valley caldera, when the dust settled six days later, the Long Valley supervolcano had disgorged about 1,400 times the volume of lava, gas, and ash as the famous 1980 super eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington. So that one was 1,400 times more volume of lava, gas, and ash. And since 1978, Long Valley has shown signs of restlessness, with the depressed valley at the center of the volcano, the caldera, showing bulging and uplift, possibly from magma moving towards the surface. Magma is the hot rock stored beneath the volcano that ultimately erupts into land onto the land and renamed lava. Some scientists also argue that liquids from stored magma may be causing these uplifts. Now scientists think they figured out what's happened in the bowels of this beast, finding evidence of a mother load of magma some 240 cubic miles stored like syrup between the rocks, making up a giant stack of pancakes and that's enough melt or magma to support another super eruption like the one that took place 760,000 years ago. Ashton Flinder of the U.S. Geological Survey in Menlo Park, California, and colleagues wrote online August 2nd in the journal Geology. While these new findings don't solve the mystery of what's causing the recent bulging and the uplift, they do provide a more detailed picture than ever of Long Valley's magma system, Flinder said, beneath the caldera. Until now, studies of Long Valley have fallen into one of two groups. They either image small frequent features down the shallow depths, say down to a few kilometers, or took, look, uh, it took at images of larger features down to much deeper levels. Quote, this has left a bit of shadow zone in the mid-crust where the shallow studies can't see and deeper studies tend to blur anything they do see, end quote. And Flounders went on to express to uh, detail what we're seeing isn't new, it's just that we're seeing it at this level of detail for the very first time. To capture the detail, the researchers looked at how ambient noise, the seismic waves that constantly travel through the earth, moved through the area beneath the Long Valley caldera. Quote, we use physics-based computer simulations to model the way this energy travels through the volcano, he said. The simulation needed a lot of computer power, so the researchers borrowed time on the supercomputer called Pleiades at NASA's Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California. Quote, to do this research on a single computer, you might... Uh, like, you, like you might have in your home, would require that one computer to run for about 22 years, Flinders said. So the resulting 3D images show quite a trove of partly melted magma beneath the caldera. But just because there's enough magma for a mega explosion does not mean that one is coming, he said. Quote, while it's impossible to predict when an eruption might occur, we can say that an eruption from Long Valley in our lifetimes is extremely unlikely, Flinders told Live Science. So to be safe, the USGS is monitoring Long Valley and the neighboring Mono Inyo volcanic chain for any signs of unrest, he said.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.